So I've always wanted to work with Rocco and I got to work with him once, but not really. Years ago, when I was with Metro Home Video, I was a contract girl in the 90s, um, Rocco at the time would come to America to shoot, but he would not let any company hold his international rights. So they weren't allowed to release internationally. He owned the international rights. And I got to tell you something. Kudos to Rocco for knowing his value at a time where he was the only talent producer star that actually had these conversations with company owners. The only. No one else knew they could do that. No one asked for anything like that. But because of that, Metro wouldn't let me work with him. So I want to say this was like 94, 95. I went to Sue's and I was like, Sue's, I really want to have sex with Rocco Freddy. But I, I know that if we shoot a magazine that, you know, I won't be able to have sex with him. Can I have sex with him anyway? Because back then in the 90s, there was no penetration in magazines. As a matter of fact, the penis had to be a certain amount of inches away from the vagina. Um, everything was very different and very restricted. But if you liked the guy, like I liked most of the guys I did magazines with, I would have sex with them while Suze was relating the setup because it kept him hard. And remember, we didn't have Viagra yet. So the girl was more responsible and I was having sex with really sexy people and I was really happy about it. So I had no qualms having sex with them off camera, but we'd be like on set having sex and Suze would be walking around with her crew, setting up everything and doing all of this. And so she's like, yeah, you can, of course you can have sex with them. She goes, but I'm videoing it. And I was like, what is she going to use this for? Like we weren't selling any of this stuff and she wasn't selling hardcore and what is she going to use it for? I was like, fuck it. That's the trade-off. The trade-off is Sue's going to let me fuck Rocco and I'm going to let her video it. Deal. So she does it. I do it. I'll post a photo later. I'll post a photo with this, uh, with this post, this, this podcast. Years later, the internet happens. 97, 98, everybody started realizing you could have a site. Suze.net is launched. Suze is now going to use my Rocco footage. She was kind enough to also give it to me from my website because that's the woman that she is. But so that was my experience working with Rocco. So it was kind of on the sneaky. We couldn't really get into it because it's a magazine shoot, so I can't mess up my makeup. It wasn't a fucking like ugh, kind of scene. And uh, now I get to many years later, many, many, many years later, I get to fucking relive that experience. This is the life I chose. 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 chose.